from Florida. I'm originally from Ohio and I moved down here to Florida with the goal of getting my shit together which I found out can be kind of hard to do when that's as far as your plan goes. <laughs> so I've been trying to set some like reasonable and actionable goals. You know some things I can do to get my shit together. I'm trying to spend less time on Twitter. Now X. I spend a lot of time scrolling. And the other day I saw a really interesting argument. Um, there's a bunch of people out there that are saying that Jesus couldn't have been a white guy. Has anybody heard about this? <laughs> couldn't have been, they say, Jesus. And for me, it's like, that's the thing you're going to say Jesus couldn't have done? <laughs> Be a white guy? I don't know if y'all read the Bible, but that dude Jesus did some shit, man. <laughs> fed a whole mountainside of people with one loaf of bread and a fish. Lazarus was a pretty big deal. It just seems like turning himself white would have been one of the easier ones for Jesus to have done. Jesus was the king of kings, man. Michael Jackson turned himself white. That dude was just the king of pop. <laughs> Just trying to get my shit together. I'm trying to spend less time on Twitter. I am um, thinking about doing something different with my hair. I used to uh, I used to have a mullet, except for mine was more of a party in the back and a part time business up front. My business was having a clearance sale. And everything must go. Just trying to get my shit together a little bit. I, uh, went out and got married. Which is probably right, probably isn't something you should do right like when you're trying to get your shit together, but I did it. And you know, before my wife moved in with me, my house just smelled like semen and sadness. Now she moved in with me, it just smells like sadness. So. I'm not having near as much sex as I thought I was doing. We got in our first fight the other day. She came out of the bathroom, towel in hand. She was like, hey, did you use this towel to dry your hands? I was like, yeah, it was hanging up on the wall next to the sink and everything. It's a wonderful towel. Did you bring that from your house with you or what? And she was like, this towel is not for drying your hands. This bitch, I mean my wife, she looked me right in my face. And she said, this is a decorative towel. And I was like, well, whose idea was it to start decorating with towels? She told me I do that so it'll look like a bathroom. I was like, you mean to tell me if I walked in there right now and there was no decorative towel hanging up, I'd be like, holy shit, I am so confused. Plastic shell over here in the corner with a big metal pipe sticking out of the wall. Big bowl of water over here in the corner. I wonder what that thing's for. And she slides the towel in when I'm not looking. I'm like, oh, thank God I have a bathroom. I thought I was going to have to start pissing outside, man. Just trying to get my shit together. That's all I'm trying to do. I've been thinking about opening a business. People that got their shit together, they own businesses, right? So my idea for a business is, you guys know about checkers, right? The drive through checkers. It's called checkers. They sell burgers, which I thought was kind of a weird name. So I was going to open a restaurant across the street from checkers and call it burgers. But instead, we would sell board games. <laughs> Seems like there's a market for it, is all I'm saying. <laughs> trying to get my shit together, man. I'm trying to thin out my friends. I have a friend recently, he became a fun facts guy, which got kind of annoying, so every time he would tell me a fun fact, I'd give him a penny for his thought. It was about 12 pennies in, I think he started expecting payment. 15 pennies in, I ran out of pennies. You know, who carries that many pennies? Now my friend, he doesn't tell me any fun facts anymore. And I think it's because he thinks he's got something to sell, but really it only cost me 15 cents to get that guy to shut the fuck up. 
Hey, you guys are really cool. My name is Rob Blake. I have a good time.